Let's go on to our next match. All right, up next, this guy is so hard, he says he has the low tier chin. Welcome to the stage, DC Kane 317. <laughs> Thanks, man. Up next, this guy's not only a commentator, this guy's a fighter too. Welcome to the stage, Meta Abe. Yeah, go ahead and come on up, man. So, if you guys want to get the latest info, go to atlas.com slash KOF XIV to get the latest info on the King of Fighters 14. All right, take your time, Meta Abe. All right, gentlemen, make it a good, clean fight. You guys know the rules, best two out of three. Let's see who got, who's going to win the title of Bragging Rice. King of Fighters 14. Check this out over here. We have Kane on the left. Look at that drunken stance in his portrait. That man lives the life. His leg was actually up. That's yeah, not yeah. a box or anything no, no, him. No. He actually did that. Yeah, that is 100% vertical leg action going on with Kane. And well, that's the thing. This is a new game. The fact that this is a new game gives a lot of the, the classic players a chance to pick new, completely different characters and show you guys what, how it works. Yeah, and we have, you know, the massive character selection here. And this isn't even the entire cast. This is not the entire cast. You have those, you know, those 16 spaces up there, or 12, I should say. And we're going to have two more bosses there. You've seen one of them revealed today. So, you know, there's way more coming up. So, let's look at Kane's team. I, I'm, I'm really liking this. Vice, Chin, and Choi versus Nakaruru, Andy, and Robert. Yeah, and Robert's been a mainstay for Meta's team in any KOF. Like, this is somebody he feels at home with. And like you pointed out for Kane, those are some of the weirder characters I would want to say. Like Vice, she's kind of straightforward, but she also has a ton of tools that make you play around them. Yeah, she's kind of like a gimmick character where it, when it comes to her moves, she has a very special move set to where if you don't know what's happening, she can definitely take oh, advantage Oh yeah, you're going to get caught off guard. And here's somebody that people have wanted to come back and not wanted to come back. <laughs> It's Choi. And Choi, in all his HD glory, man. I'm liking how how much detail is actually on the knives this point. Yeah, those are some detailed knives. All right, and they just let it rock. There you go. Choi, known for his annoying movement. And Freddy Krueger-like knives. Nakaruru, definitely with this animal abuse. We need to talk to Atlas about this. She's just holding on to this bird. Just... The, the bird has a name, Steve. We went over this. That's Mamahaha. Mahahaha. Okay. Mama -ha -ha. Mama -ha -ha. Mama -ha -ha. Thank okay. you for respecting right. the Got Lord, it. Steve. Right. There you go. See, the audience is yelling at you. You need to respect that bird's name. Look at the work the bird's doing right now. Oh, wow. I like the mix up here. Kane, trying his best to be as annoying as Nakaruru. Oh, yeah. Like, you'll notice, Choi doesn't want to win by just raw damage. He wants to antagonize you. Yeah. He wants you to run into him. He's full, he's full blown trying to annoy you into getting hit. Yep. Oh, oh nice. wow. Oh, nice. Oh, Stops it. Wow. Doesn't respect that super. And that's what's really unique about KOF. You get one round. You get one round to show what you know with your character, and then that's it. Oh, yeah. If that character gets KO'd, it's a problem. Yeah, and there's so much to think about in terms of team composition. Like, you want a character like Choi, you know, make up resources and meter for your follow-up characters. And then you have characters like Vice that want to spend them. Yeah, that's true. So let's see where Kane goes with this Vice. Oh, nice cross under. That was really good. It's a shoulder tackle. Nice. About to see. Wow. Yeah, and that slash is really good. Nakaruru, not much life left. Vice takes it. Yeah. And you saw there from, from Meta A, he's using that flash move both to check people, because that's a low. So even if they're running around, they're going to have to worry about that. Yeah, that's and true. he uses it for movement just to get in. Oh, wow. Goes right into maximum with that standing speed. Sorry, standing D. Oh. Nice. And Robert, a very well rounded character. Almost like a traditional, like, Shoto type has a fireball, has a hurricane kick, has an uppercut. But then he also has some tools to kind of like differentiate from other other kind of zoning characters. He has something that's like a command throw. Right. And he's one of the characters that Ooh, definitely wow, uses the dive kick to Okay, I like it. Alright, yeah. alright. You gotta know that's there. Yeah, that's definitely true. 
Vice's moves are really like sweeping moves. They're special attacks that actually go past the character a lot of times. And they want you to stop moving. He just chose the dive kick to beat it out. Here we go. And you'll notice right there immediately on the bottom left of the screen, Four Chin is his drunk meter. So that makes him stronger the more he drinks. So right now he's he's, not, he's sober. This is sober Chin. But it's still very dangerous. Look at that move. It turned around for him. Look, look how much work he's doing with just having meter access. He's going to go into max mode again. Call him in. Oh, still sober. Nice. Oh, oh the no. counter gets, gets the combo right after. So much damage. Oh, we're taking a swig. Ooh. Oh, man. Bounced him off the wall with the drinks. Okay. Abe actually looked behind himself in real life to make sure that there wasn't a wall there for him to bounce off. That, that was quite the slam. <laughs> And there's the end. Nice. Canceling, canceling that sweep in the fireball. Yeah, Abe looking on point here, checking these movements, making sure that Kane can't escape. Oh, he takes a drink. He's one in. He's only kind of tipsy right now. He's only a little bit under the influence. Yeah, Chin's still okay to drive. He definitely failed a breathalyzer, though. That's no uh, questions asked. Oh, oh. But every time he gets knocked down, he loses those drinks. So he's back to being sober. Wow. That that's moves kind of good. Just a little bit. So much damage. And look at him. He's going to go back into it. You're going to have to worry about that move. And just like that. All right. Game one. And that was smart stuff from Kane right there. You saw Abe, eager to escape that rush punch, jump. And he met him air to air. Oh, look, Abe's <laughs> victory lead. Or losing pose, I should say. He's just a little shy. He has just the hat covering his, his face. in shame. Back to teams right now. We already got a character switch on a meta Abe. We're going to have Mui Mui swapping in. Oh, shoot. Oh, shoot. Oh, man. Okay, now let's see the order of Abe's team. We only got one character that actually stayed. And Nakaruru going first. She definitely did work. Yeah. So she's going to be a mainstay. And like we saw for Chin, who makes a ton of use of having just max mode because the EX moves are so strong, that's also true of Shune. Well, and yeah, I, we were just about to say that. Um, the fact that team composition matters a lot because certain characters in this game actually use a lot more meter to get damage, but some characters just want to build that meter for whoever's behind them. Oh, yeah, and that's Choi right there with the Where's Waldo costume. I know, right? That is a really nice color. Yeah, you got to find him. Oh. Yo, we even got the matching socks. This guy's cool. He's coordinated. Can't go wrong with a team that style, man. Both little pixie characters, but Choi definitely way more annoying. Yeah. I like the pressure here from Abe. Uh-oh. Not gonna stop Kano. Gets the super. You know, a little stranger, he's actually opting to use the meter this time. Whereas before, he definitely built up all three bars with Choi. You got to remember, man, Nakaru is definitely pretty annoying. You want to take her out if you can. Oh, Even yeah. if that means spending a little bit of the meter you have saved up for your backup character. Oh, wow, what a wow. punish. That was really smart for me. Oh, tries to catch him. Oh, oh no. Went for the chip out. Walks right into no, it. No, Abe needed to check the weather report. That tornado was still active. <laughs> all right, moi moi. Let's see how this works. Yep, we were talking about this. Not really typical for like a small character to have really big normals like that, but right. she has definitely got a quick run speed and really strong normal coverage. And has pretty good reach as well. Oh, yeah. Nice. We've seen it before, her Kamehameha. Yeah, that, that hurts. Yeah, that hurts a lot. Oh, it's the cross up. Uh oh, what's the punish here? Let's go for the record. Oh, he tries to go for the jump in. But that move will hit on both sides. Oh. oh. Gets a throw of his own. Wow, that is an annoying guy. Kid. That is very annoying. Okay. Just even the sound it makes. <laughs> it just makes you want to deck him. Yeah, I know, right? Yeah, you just you look over at the person you're playing in real life like you're that guy, huh? He's going to make those birds. He's going to keep doing it. Okay. Snow White over here. Okay. There we go. We got Vice. And we mentioned she has a power character. We didn't quite get to see it in the last match. But with meter, we're going to see her go off. Wow. No cancel in the max mode right there. And you saw that, that move that she just did. That's that's the vice trademark, that arm sleeve. Oh, oh go for a larger combo. Uh, uh. 
Yo, the double knees. Oh, the, the tunnel to hell? You see that? It's a one way ticket. <laughs> one way ticket. Oh, wow. Standing CD classic. Oh, wow. Nice cancel. Oh, a little to, late on that. Yeah, tries to go for a max mode of his own. Oh, tries to use tackle. Nice. Uses the target combo, takes it. Yeah, advice, like we way. mentioned, can be very straightforward, but that sleeve and attack will really make you play at a safe range in front of her. Because if you mess up, you're either going to get knocked down or the sleeve's going to pull you in. And when she pulls you in, she gets the combo afterwards. All right, now Shune is definitely a powerhouse character. All he needs is a meter, max mode, and then red and blue hand. And he gets an air dash, which is pretty unique to a KOF character. Oh, yeah, definitely. And that's like we mentioned, uses the sleeve for the free command throw afterwards. Nice tech on the throw right there. I think we're gonna probably see a save a stock. Oh no! Oh, this is what we're talking about. Look how much that. Oh, drops the combo. Oh the no! Mm -hmm. One way ticket to hell. Not dead yet. Yo, wow. The Jackson Five pose. You see that? Uh. How he pulls it in. You gotta bring uh. it in. It's like he's he's one of the drama kids at school. He's like yeah. scene. <laughs> scene. <laughs> Game. <laughs> Game. Blouses. Anyways. I would definitely dress like this guy, Shune, by the way. Just, I mean, there was any the, confusion. As soon as I saw the beads on the... On the, on the <laughs> oh, the knees to the mouth. Yeah, the air dash, really unique to KOF. Not something you see commonly. Nice. Oh, nice. Spends a little bit of meter just to not deal with any of that. Oh, wow. He came is not budging. Oh, here we go. Oh, could it be another one? Look at Max mode. He's got one maximum left, but oh. oh. That's gonna be it. Nice. And Kane, 317, takes it, ladies and gentlemen. That's where his trademark character.